What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best waffle makers and Belgian waffle irons. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have the Waring Double Belgian Waffle Maker. We think Waring currently makes the best Belgian waffle maker. With this unit you can prepare two waffles at once. The first time you use the unit, you'll need to prime it with oil. However, once the waffle maker has been primed, it will be a true non-stick tool for real Belgian waffles with 1 inch 2.5 cm waffle pockets. This unit offers 6 degrees of temperature choice and beeps when it's done preheating. Depending on the amount of browning you want, the waffle maker will also let you know when your breakfast is done. The WMK600 features a rotating waffle holder over a hot base plate. Once the machine beeps, you can add the batter, lock the lid down, and flip the waffle maker so you can add batter to the other side. The waffle flipping plate makes for a fairly tall unit. This waffle maker will need some dedicated storage space when you're not using it. If your kitchen is small, or if you just hate single-use tools, this may not be the best waffle maker for your household. Moving on at number 4, we have the Black & Decker Waffle Maker. The Black & Decker Double Flip is a true Belgian waffle maker with deep grids and the traditional round shape. This unit prepares your breakfast with dual cooking plates and an easy swivel lid that locks in place once you've given it a turn. However, the Black & Decker doesn't offer a temperature control. Once it's plugged in, it's on. The red light comes on when the unit has power, and once the light turns green, it's ready to cook. Recommendations include loading both sides with batter, locking the unit and letting the green light come back on. This should give you a starting point on how long you need to let your waffles cook. The Black & Decker is a non-stick, straightforward double-flip Belgian waffle maker. It's long and narrow, coming in at just under 7 pounds, 3.2 kilos. Both cleanup and storage will be simple with this unit. At number 3, we have the Cuisinart Belgian Waffle Maker with Pancake Plates. The Cuisinart Belgian Waffle Maker can be used for several breakfast foods. There are several plates that come with the unit, and depending on what you install, you can make pancakes, eggs, sausage or waffles. All of the plates on this machine can be washed in the dishwasher. The machine has top plates and bottom plates, carefully marked. The temperature control goes from 1 to 6 so you can control how brown your waffles will get. The Cuisinart WAF300 comes with tongs built to make it easy to get your waffles out. This unit does not flip, but it is large enough to make 4 square waffles in a 9.5 inch 24 cm grid. Brush the hot plates with a bit of oil, fill the lower plate with the recommended amount of batter, spread it about a bit, and close the top plate. The waffle maker will come back to temperature, and later it will let you know when it's done. At number 2, we have the Nomes Breville BWM520XL Waffle Maker. It will beep when it's hot enough to cook, when it returns to cooking temperature after you've added the batter, and when your waffles are done. While the Breville offers a moat or runoff channel for extra batter, this extra batter can make it extremely hard to get cooked waffles out. While it may save you some cleanup, you're best off not to overload the Breville waffle maker. Small waffles may not look perfect, but they're much less messy. And finally at number 1, we have the Disney's classic Mickey waffle maker. The Mickey Mouse waffle maker is a lightweight unit makes an adorable patterned pancake featuring Mickey Mouse. However, most cooks agree that the plates don't really get hot enough to cook to waffle standards such as caramelizing the waffle mix and browning the final product. This should not impact your guests at all, but anyone interested in this tool would be wise to start with a pancake batter for the first batch, just to make sure it cooks properly. Thanks for watching and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time.